Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Ethernet does not have a valid IP configuration on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. So again, N-E-T-S-H space Winsock space reset. Hit enter the keyboard. So it should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So go ahead and actually close out of here and restart your computer. Now you also want to try, if you're still having a problem, open up the start menu, type in device manager, go ahead and open up that best match here. Expand the network adapter section, so double click on it. Right click on your network connection listed in here and select uninstall device. Select uninstall. Now that you've done that, close out of here and restart your computer. And it should automatically detect your network adapter as long as it's plugged in or if it's internal, it should also recognize it too. So again, hopefully that would have been able to resolve the problem. And if you're still having a problem, one further thing we can do is try to reset our network settings. So in order to do that, all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, you come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. You want to go down and you want to select the menu icon up at the top and select network and internet on the left side. Now underneath more settings, select network reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the reset now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. Now that you've done that, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully it should have been as simple as that. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. So I do hope I was able to help you guys out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.